Hey bees, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, it's gonna be a little bit of a different video. I feel like maybe I should stop putting out so much content about... <laughs> my dog was like, bye girl, I'm trying to sleep. Um, I feel like maybe I should go back to my like reading vlogs. I just haven't been able to read literally anything because I've been studying so much. And for me, reading really takes up a lot of time. And when I get into a book, I really get into it and I want to finish it within a day or two. So yeah, that's just where I'm at right now. I'm so excited because I have my test, as you guys know, on the 29th and I'm still studying for that. But coming up uh, September 1st, I'm finally able to read again. So I'm going to show you guys what my TBR list is going to be for the month of September. So let's get right into it. So the first things first, some of the books on, in this might shock you because... I probably put it in my July's like TBR or June's. I can't even remember because it's been a really long time since I did one of these videos. But this is going to be one of them. The Lie Hi Love Hypothesis. I have not gotten into this book. I have not read it. I haven't even read a page about it. I completely forgot what it was about. This was one of the most popular like books on TikTok. And I just cannot believe I have and gotten into it so i'm gonna read you guys a little snippet from the back but i'm sure you guys probably already know what this is as a third year ph candidate olive smith doesn't believe in lasting romantic relationships but her best friend does and that's what got her into the situation convincing anna that olive is dating as well her on her way to happily ever after was always going to take more than the handy wavy jetta mind tricks scientists require proof so any self-respecting biologist Olive panics and kisses the first man she sees. That man is none other than Adam Carlson, a young hotshot professor and a well-known ass, which is why Olive is positively floored when Stanford's reigning lab, Trent, agrees to keep her straight a secret. So, I'm super excited to start reading this book. I, Like I said, it's, a, it's been on my TBR for such a long time. I think I got this book like maybe two months ago, but I'm super excited to read it. So the next one. So I have not read a thriller novel in a really long time and I've had these books since I started my journey of reading which I think was back in May or March. It's been a really long time um, but I think it might have been May and I bought these books right in May and it's August. It's about to be September so I've had these books in my... I'm going to show them at the same time in my TBR for a while. Um, I'm going to first show Then She Was Gone. This is by Lisa du Jewell. And this is all about a disappearance of a 10-year-old. It is really interesting from what I've heard on TikTok. And like I said, the last like thriller book that I read was um, Variety from Colleen Hoover. And I love Colleen Hoover. She was like the first person who got me back into reading again and it was through the book variety and ever since then i just like had a love for her books they're so amazing they're great i really really am so excited to have her other book come out i think it's at a ship in october or maybe september um it's the second book to um i think it's this ends with us and i think this one starts as it starts with us with alias or alias i forgot his name um, but this one is Ellie Mack was the perfect daughter and then she was gone. Ten years after Ellie's disappearance, her mother Laurel Mack is trying to f put her life back together when she meets an unexpectedly charming man in a cafe. Before she knows it, meet she's meeting Floyd's daughter and his youngest, Poppy. Takes Laurel's breath away because the er the eerily precious Poppy is spitting it's a spitting image of Ellie. And now the unanswered questions she's tried so hard to put to rest behind haunting Laurel anew. Where did Ellie go? Did she run away from home? As the police have long suspected, or did something more sinister happen? A haunting page turner of sheer perfection. This sounds so freaking interesting. I'm so excited. I think this might be the first book that I pick back up. I don't know if it's slow, so we'll see. Okay, and then we have another Lisa Jewell book, and this is The Night... Sometimes I haven't read... I mean, I haven't read in a while, so I'm, I have a little bit of a dyslexia, you guys. I 
see it i read it fast in my brain and then when i try to like output it it just does not come out it's like it's supposed to um but this is the night she disappeared and another thriller book i'm again i'm so excited to read this book i'm gonna read you the first sentence and then we'll move on it's a beautiful summer night in a charming english english suburb when 19 year olds to Tallulah and Zach disappear after partying at a massive country estate of a new college friend. Um, I think I might have read a couple pages out of here and then I stopped reading it because for some reason I was really into rom-com in that time. That's when I started reading a lot of Colleen Hoover books and I was just so excited to get her to her next book that I actually ended up putting this one down. So I will be going back into this very, very soon. Um... I just hope I get through all these books, but I'm so excited. Okay, the next book that I have here is The Honeymooners. And I'm so excited. Um, I've seen a lot, you guys, all these books I've seen on TikTok, which is the main reason why I got them, was because I really trust the, the TikTok community when it comes to reading. Um, they've really been spot on with everything and oh i just can't wait to get into it it's all about a couple uh who gets married and they are they get mysteriously sick and they had already paid for the honeymoon so these two people who did not get sick at the party end up going together and funny and en funny enough they like despise each other they hate each other so it's very much haters to lovers and i'm actually really excited to see how the book turns out i have heard mixed reviews about it where people feel like it's a slow burn or it seems like very predictable but I want to give it a fair shot and I want to see how I like it. I definitely like that those types of books where it's haters to lovers and I haven't read one of these in a while so I'm again really excited to have this a part of my TBR. Okay so the next book that I actually have started but had to stop was Book Lovers. I was really enjoying this book. What happened on my sheet does? You guys this is my dog. I don't think I've like officially introduced her into the channel. But this is Mia, and she is my baby. She's literally my everything. I love her to death. We do everything together. She comes with me everywhere. It's like I'm the insane lady with a thousand cats, but it's with one dog. So, yeah. I'll probably have, like, a little casket for her next to me, or she'll just die with me, you know? Anyways, because <laughs> she's not going to die until I do. Hi, Mia. Okay, so this is the book that I've actually started to read and I really liked it but I unfortunately had to stop because I was putting way too much focus into reading this book than to actually practice for my test. So this is about an author who um, knows all about like romantic books and how they end up and all this good stuff and her sister wants to take her like on this trip on this girl's trip because she's pregnant and it's like her last hurrah with her sister um so they end up going on a trip and something crazy happens during the trip where she finds i think love i'm not quite sure but i think that's how it goes um and i'm super and um, it sucks that I had to stop halfway, but like I said, definitely gonna be picking this up as soon as I possibly can. Probably after then she was gone, but that's pretty much it. It always sucks when you're like starting a book and like something happens and you can't really finish it. I actually might read some of it tonight because I'm gonna take a little bit of a, I'm gonna take a little bit of a break because I have been studying for hours and I was busy all day long. So maybe I'll pick it back up just because I can. Okay, so the next book is whoop, The Spanish Love Deception. I feel like everybody and they mamas have read this book. And I'm literally the last one to jump on the bandwagon. Like when I tell you all the YouTube book lovers that I follow have read this book. And I'm literally the last one to read it, I feel. I have actually no clue what it is about literally none so i'm gonna read a little bit of the back it says catalina martin just desperately needs a date at her sister's wedding especially since her little why lie about her american boyfriend has spiraled out of control now everyone she knows including her ex and his fiance will be there and eager to meet him 
She has only four weeks to find someone willing to cross the Atlantic and aid in her deception. New York, New York to Spain is no short flight, and her family won't be easy to fool. After Aaron Blackwood, Black after enter Aaron Blackford, her tall, handsome, condescending colleague who surprisingly offers to step in. She rather refuse. Never has she that. Never has there been a more aggravating blood boiling. Um, but Catalina is desperate, and as the wedding draws near, Aaron looks at her. Looks like. Aaron looks like her best option, and she begins to realize he might not be as terrible in the. Not might might not be as terrible in the real world as he is at the office. So very much, again, haters to lovers. I actually do think I read some of the pages of this, but I actually stopped to finish like another Colleen Hoover book. But definitely um, another lovers to hate or haters to lovers. So I will love to see how this plays out. Um, I did. I will say it did kind of start off slow in the beginning. Um, actually, no, it actually started off pretty quickly. Um, it gives us like no backstory on who Aaron Blackford is. Um, so just look. okay so we're down to our last two books this is colin hoover all your perfects i literally don't have an idea or a clue what this book is about we're gonna read a little bit then the last thing quinn expected was to meet the lover of her life just outside her fiance's front door a year after behind their cheating partners quinn and graham are in the perfect relationship that seems that seems designed by fate now, seven years later, their perfect love is threatened by their imperfect marriage. The memories, mistakes, and dreams that they, that ha they have built over the years are tearing them apart. The one thing that could save them also might be the very thing that pushes their marriage past the point of no return. So, it looks like a little mystery that's going on. Like, what happened to your marriage? Um, maybe some infidelity or I don't know. But exciting. I do have just a couple of books of Colin Hoover to finish literally all of her um, books. So I'm just filling in the blanks. And then I have Without Your Merit. I have no idea what this book is about either. I literally just picked it up because I was like, it's Colin Hoover. Okay, so the Voss family is nothing, anything but normal. Perfect, irritably perfect older sibling to the half little brother who isn't allowed to do anything to do you guys, I have dyslexia, and I'm really upset about it because I feel like anything that I read, like anything that comes out of my mouth when I'm reading, like a little excerpt, a tweet, um, a little comment, I always seem to mess up, and it's a serious problem. Like, you guys have seen how many times I just don't know how to pronounce a word, and the word can be super easily, or I've seen it before. Like, the other day, I spelled location wrong. I spelled it L O C. T-A-I-O-N. So, it sucks. But anyways, that is going to be my entire TBR list. I'm super excited. Um, let me know down below if you guys read some of these books and how you like them. Or if you guys also have some of these on your TBR. And yeah, you guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. There's definitely going to be... <laughs> There's definitely going to be more book videos here on my channel. So if you guys love it, please subscribe. Enjoy the Beehive fam. We're almost to 300 subscribers. I'm so excited. Thank you everyone who's been supporting and following. I'll see you guys next time. Bye, bees.